What's up, guys? Today, we're talking about Nikita Dragon and Trisha Paytas because the girls are fighting. Things went from a little bit of light, funny shade to full-blown burn book type. It's a mess, so let's get into it. Exposed. 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 You're exposed. So, Trisha and Nikita got in a really bad fight on Twitter the other day, and it went from funny to dark real quick. It started off like four days prior when Trisha Paytas retweeted a tweet about Nikita's Snapchat show and made a little shady comment about it, like, oh, Snapchat? People were like, oh my god, I didn't know Trisha and Nikita had beef. What's going on here? But Trisha quickly cleared things up and said there was no beef. Well, four days later, Miss Nikita Dragon decided it was time to give me a little bit of content and reply to Trisha. 30 million viewers in the billboard on Sunset, but anyways, let me go back to filming my Netflix show. Trisha, haven't you done enough to the trans community? There's no need to downplay mine or any trans woman's accomplishments. Happy Trans Day of Visibility. Downplaying or mocking the success of a trans woman is incredibly toxic for the community. Countless women and men and non-conforming people have paved the way for someone like me. So a small win like a show on Snapchat that's watched by millions is huge. This isn't about me. So let's pause for a moment. Trisha actually tweeted this out nearly like a week prior to Trans Visibility Day, so she was in no way trying to cause problems on that day for Nikita. It literally had nothing to do with that. Nikita's the one that made a shady post about how she can be cancelled as many times as we want and her show will still air. And Trisha clapped back like, girl chill, it's Snapchat. I mean, if you want to be shady, you're gonna get shady back. Anyways, this is where things get a little bit messy. Trisha actually replied to Nikita and said, Has nothing to do with you being trans, sweetie. You are sick to even bring that into it. You're just a human who stays defending mm, and spreading COVID. You trying to drag a whole community into your piece of you live in is gross. Setting back so much. How about you wear a mask? You are a human being during this whole pandemic. Your makeup ain't that cute. Nikita then clapped back with, weren't you just on Rodeo filming TikToks with people without a mask on? Love that for you. Then Trisha said, you are literally the human alive. Like actually, I feel really, really sorry for you. And Nikita said, the feeling is mutual love. Trisha then went on to call Nikita out for continuing to support and get her hair done by Hair by J. We all know Trisha and Hair by J do not get along, and that whole situation in Vegas is what started the downfall of her relationship with Shane and Jeffrey. Hair by J said some really nasty things about Trisha, so it's kind of sad to see people in the industry still support him. She then went on to call Nikita out for hanging out and promoting people like Tony Lopez and James Charles. Nikita actively supports both Tony and James even after everything that's come out about them. We all know Nikita had to reply and said, Go back to Shane, Jeffrey, or David. You were funnier back then. When I saw this, I was like, oh my god. I thought for sure Trisha was going to break out her new kitchen floor and drag Nikita. Shane and Jeffrey and David seemed like a really sore spot for Trisha because she had a really bad experience with all three of them, so I just knew this was going to start something. So here's what happened after that. Girl, no one ever knew you. I still don't. Pretending people actually show up to your meet and greets? You know me enough to talk about me on your podcast and get excited when I send you Dragon Beauty PR. Girl thinking she did something with a plastic egg, lol, and attached a video down below called Nikita Dragon's Embarrassing Pop-Up. like the shade. Nikita then tweeted Trisha a magazine cover of her and said, not bad for a girl with a plastic egg. But it didn't stop there. 
What even is this? Embarrassing. Keep flexing that Snapchat show. I will, babe. Congrats on your little podcast. I mean, Frenemies isn't that little, but moving on. Trisha then tweeted her back with a bunch of pictures of her own billboards and said, I can pay for billboards too. Anyone with money can have one. Literally, you try so hard. Then, Trisha decides it's time to bring out the embarrassing receipts and tweet a picture of Nikita sitting in front of her pop-up shop where she had to photoshop the Victoria's Secret sign to say Dragon Beauty pop-up. She also brought up how it's weird that Nikita hangs out with all these young TikTokers when she's in her like mid-20s and calls her delusional if she thinks her Snapchat show is getting 30 million views. Honestly, I don't even think 30 million people use Snapchat anymore. So this is where things get a little bit confusing because these girls were tweeting out every 20 seconds saying whatever they could. Trisha jumped back to Nikita's first tweet where she said she was going to go back to filming her Netflix show and she said, ooh, now it's Netflix? Um, I wish I had a fantasy land. She literally just said, bye Snapchat. Announcement coming April 7th. I'll be sure to tune in to your little podcast to see what you have to say about it. After going back and forth for like an hour, Nikita and Trisha took like an hour intermission and then started right back up again. This time, things got a little bit dark. Nikita started calling Trisha out for old videos with Shane Dawson that really, really don't look good. In one tweet, she said, this you, pretty much trying to make her look hypocritical for calling others out. She also brought up how Trisha treats her fiance Moses and it just went from harmless shade to the complete opposite. I think this stuff really got to Trisha because she tweeted out, The stuff Nikita brought up is stuff I did at my lowest. It really triggered me. And for what? Because she's problematic now, so she has to dig through my past? She's a now and has zero remorse. I blocked her and logging off. She won. Honestly, so upset, I'm shaking. I don't know what else to say. While all this mess was going on, Nikita went on Instagram looking so unbothered singing Cardi B song, I know how to make a bitch mad. Even Ethan jumped in and said, Nikita probably spread COVID to more people than actually watch her show. I mean, that's probably true with that little spit guard that she uses as a mask. Nikita continued on and attached a photo of the collab video that Trisha did with Shane and Trevi and tweeted Ethan and said, what's she gonna do about your mm friend? And Ethan replied, I'm sure she regrets making that video that Shane arranged. As I recall, she's not friends with Shane. Stay mad and say hi to James for me. Then Trisha jumped back in and said, bringing up stuff from seven plus years ago is fine. I'll always apologize for poor behavior. But if you're doing the same stuff in 2020 slash 2021, reevaluate the fingers you're pointing. I will say I've grown so much from poor behavior. I've never hidden from it, nor do I shy away from talking about it. I admit when there's a problem or people in my life associate with are problems. Meeting Shane Dawson was the biggest regret of my life. Defending him for so long was even more regretful. So it's no secret that Trisha has done stuff in her 12 years on the internet that isn't the best. But the true tea is Nikita is still doing the stuff that people have been calling her out for all year long. Anyways guys, let me know what you think about everything down below. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button because it really does help my channel and I'll see you next time.